What is going on guys? Today is day 5,000 of self-isolation. I think somewhere around there. I don't know what's happening in your country, but we're still in self-quarantine here in Canada. And I've been wanting to give you guys something to help pass the time. So I'm actually teaming up with Musicbed to do a contest. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a sec, but where this contest idea came from is, I don't know about you, but I've had a lot more time to catch up on some movies that I've been wanting to watch. And I've been realizing that a lot of my favorite films have these amazing long one take shots where there's no cuts, the camera just keeps going. I think of films like Children of Men where there was these amazing one take shots that lasted for super long. Um, True Detective season one, there's this incredible scene that lasts for like five or 10 minutes, this giant gang fight. There's also this film Victoria, which is this German film that was shot all in a C300 and the entire thing was one true shot, like no cuts, truly a one take shot. They shot the film three times and took the best take. It's pretty incredible. And of course there's 1917, which wasn't technically actually one shot, but made to look like it. And oh my gosh, it's beginning to snow. It's still snowing and it's April. Anyways, seeing all these films, seeing these amazing one take shots made me think, I wanna see what you guys can do, what you can come up with at home. So I was teamed up with Musicbed and we're doing the at home handheld challenge. Try to say it three times fast, the at home handheld challenge. And so we wanna see what handheld one take shots you can come up with at your home, inside your apartment, your house, wherever you're living, maybe you're on a ranch, I'm jealous if you are, but come up with this. And so the rules are, the shot has to be handheld. No gimbals, no stabilizers, just the handheld camera. If you have a lens with IBIS, that's okay. We wanna see minimal image stabilization on this. So make sure to stay away from the Adobe Warp Stabilizer as much as you can. So entries are due in a week, April 29th at midnight Eastern. Make sure that it's no longer than 30 seconds. It can be a bit over, but we prefer it to be under 30 seconds. And the last rule is you need to use a music bed song. And you're probably thinking, well, I don't have a music bed membership. Well, that's okay. There's a link below for a free 30 day trial, no strings attached for music bed. And I love music bed. I actually just used their songs on my latest film, No Country is an Island. Why I love music bed so much is they work with real artists, real composers. See, their music isn't royalty free. And you're probably thinking, well, Mark, isn't that a bad thing? Shouldn't the music be royalty free? Like, don't I get flagged on YouTube? Well, if you have a music bed subscription, they use Sync ID to make sure that you can use the music on your channel. And why it's good that it's not royalty free is it means they're working with real artists, real composers. I, I sometimes wonder if I'm listening to my Spotify playlist because so many of the music bed artists that I'm listening to or using their music are actually on Spotify as well. They're incredible, really talented people. And I'm gonna be choosing three winners for this contest and they're gonna be winning a year long personal subscription to music bed, which is awesome for any content creators out there, as well as a whole bunch of music bed swag. So look forward to that. Make sure to shoot your entry over to contest.markbone at gmail.com as well use that hashtag home handheld MB it's like music bed and mark bone whoa mind blown and so I tried one of these shots too at home I was thinking I had this amazing idea I was like I'm gonna shoot my cat the sunlight's beautiful this is gonna be awesome I'm gonna follow the cat in we're gonna have the treats gonna run around and it was a complete disaster. I, I actually even went back the next day and tried the shot. We tried to move the treats coming out of the drawer, moving through, and then the cat was gonna run by. Not only was my cat super scared of my camera, I just couldn't get the timing right with her. They always say, don't ever work with kids or cats. Those are the most two difficult things to work with because you can't control them. Those and probably just any animal in general. Although Tiger King was amazing, but uh, the cats kind of just did their own thing in that. <laughs> As you can see, my shot was a hot mess. I think you guys are gonna be able to come up with something a little bit better. Uh, and shout out to my wife who helped me shoot this. We only fought like a ton throughout the entire thing. But I know you guys can do better than what I did and I'm excited to see what you're coming up with. But here's some quick tips for shooting handheld. Number one tip is get on a wider lens. This will help you reduce the shake in your handheld work. Wider lenses are much more forgiving than if you're out on a 50 mil trying to do handheld work. So use your wider lenses, that's what I recommend. Recommend. Number two, the thing you're fighting when you're shooting handheld work is gravity. And the longer you hold the camera, the more gravity will win against your muscles. And so that's where I like using things like a top handle 
on my cameras because then I can hold the camera and let gravity actually stabilize the camera because it's essentially hanging in my hand like a shopping bag. It's going down rather than me holding the camera up. You always hear me on this channel talking about top handles. I think every camera should have one on it at all times. Now, if you're worried about your top handle slipping out of your camera's hot shoe, there is camera cages that you can buy where you can attach a top handle to that. I'll put a link below to some top handles that I love uh, and that I use as well as some camera cages. I always have a top handle on all of my cameras. And the last tip I would say is get the camera closer to your body. Your body is a great stable thing when you're not moving. The further you have the camera away from you, the more muscles you're using and the more camera shake you will introduce. So bring the camera in closer to your body. Your steps is where you often introduce shake into the shot. So those are four quick tips that I can give you. Get on a wider lens, get a top handle. You'll be embracing gravity rather than fighting it. Also, make sure to hold the camera a bit closer to your body. The further out you are, the more camera shake you will have over time. And lastly, watch your steps. That's what will make your camera shake. So guys, I can't wait to see your entries. I'm really excited about this. I wanted to give you something to do while you're at home trying to pass the time in quarantine. I know you're gonna come up with some really amazing stuff and I'm excited to see it. Again, if you want any of the information for the contest, it's all down below. But I'll see you on the next one. I'll see you next week when I announce the winners.